Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome. What I'm going to do today is show you how I'm going to wire my simple motor control. Okay. Now, uh, what I did uh, in advance, I tried to connect three small uh, short uh, wire here in my line one, line two, and line three. Okay. Then I have uh, provided here a jumper at my line two going to line three. Okay. So let me connect this one okay because this is the uh, representation of this okay now i will connect it okay sorry for the background the dog barking okay now okay so i already created the small jumper there All right then i will provide now my uh, line okay so this is my somewhere here is my power source okay this is single phase line and neutron okay so i'm going to connect i provided already the cable to be connected to my line one okay so let me connect it there okay the line one okay so it's connected there okay that is line one so line one connected to line one is connected to line one then i provided already the jumper line to line three then the next step is to connect these three uh, wire line one line two line three to my magnetic contactor okay so just connect it here okay okay where i'm going to insert it okay then tighten it up okay then tighten it also here and insert also here okay then just tighten the terminals okay now make sure to tighten the terminal to prevent uh, sparking when it is uh, when the contactor is energized okay now actually it will uh, if it is loose uh, then the terminal might uh, damage because of the frequent sparking okay so that is my circuit breaker then my magnetic contactor uh, now the overall protection is directly connected to the magnetic contactor okay so no need to prepare uh, these three short wire okay so because the overload protection is uh, directly connected to the terminal of uh, magnetic contactor okay now the last thing that i have to do is create this short uh, jumper from line one at the bottom of the overload protection to uh, line to connection of the magnetic contactor then the flow of current is from there we go from here and there okay uh, it was already explained in my first tutorial now the last thing is the uh, this circuit breaker serves as an isolator switch okay i already explained what is the purpose of this okay now uh, the line is already connected to my isolator switch now i will connect this uh, neutral line to my uh, isolator switch also okay let me insert it here okay now it's almost done now this is my motor to be tested for this power diagram okay so since this is single phase there will be only two leads okay this blue is my neutral so likewise i'm going to insert it here okay so it will meet my neutral then my uh, line i will insert it here so that it will meet also my line okay now uh, make sure when you are working on this power is isolated okay now here okay so let me let me turn on or have my power source ready okay so I already plug it in. Now as you can see, if I will test the power source, okay, let me select AC here. Okay, so I will select. Now there should be 220. Okay, now 230 is available at my power source, okay. Now my circuit breaker is still off. Okay, my isolator switch is still up. Now I will try to turn it on, okay. Then also my isolator switch. Okay. Now, uh, we can test 
if there is already 220 here i will check it here okay then the neutral there should be 232 there as you can see in my multimeter i have there around 234 volts ac okay so there is already power in my uh, components now as i said since we don't have yet the control we can always test our uh, wiring diagram or power diagram if it is correct okay so to do that we need to manually energize the contactor okay so you can manually energize the contactor by just pressing the contact to engage it manually okay now look at the motor okay, as you can see uh, when I manually push the contacts to close now power go to the connected motor okay so when this is happening meaning your power diagram is already working okay so connect line to your circuit breaker okay since this is single phase then just follow this simple uh, power diagram okay then when you are done when you check uh, all your connection make sure it is tightened and no loose connection in each terminal okay then make sure also to observe uh, and be careful when you are working on a live uh, equipment okay so here i am demonstrating the power diagram and our power diagram looks fine okay motor connected is already working by manually pressing this magnetic contactor okay guys this is power diagram next will be the control okay so next video will be my control so just wait for it and let me prepare all the materials that i need so that i can uh, prepare the video okay thank you very much for watching and if you are new to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe you can also share like the video and you can always uh, put your comment okay then i want to emphasize that this tutorial is for beginners okay so if you don't have any background in motor control this is the tutorial that you need okay so that you can learn this simple tutorial and eventually if you want to join building management system you can always watch my series of video tutorial thank you very much let us be all safe and god bless us all bye for now